Hi friends, this is Lokesh Gorantla. Welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. And today we are going to discuss about that how to create a user using REST Azure. Before that, I will show you this one. We need to create a class for the creating the user purpose. In this, we need to use the REST engine annotation and also today I uh, will explain you the two things. One is directly how to validate the status code and second one is just we need to uh, take the response and then we need to validate the value. First, we need to rest Azure base URL. This is we are going to directly we are providing the user information. That URL I am going to take. This is my base URL. I'm going to copy paste this one. We can be able to pass the two ways, like uh, we can be able to pass some URL here up to here, and remaining things we can be able to pass the post method place also. But now we want the only complete URL I'm going to pass. Second step is we need to store the response first. response we are going to pass given is the method for the starting of the url then this place we can able to pass the content type this content type we can able two types we can pass directly content type and we can uh, able to pass the header place also. We can use the content directly or else we can able to pass the content type. What is the content type is presented directly. Use the capital dot JSON. We are passing JSON method right? for that we are using that. And then we need to pass the body of the values body and this can body can accept the string format of data dot a post method this is our method and here i told you right two ways directly i'm passing the string format of data and second one is i will store into the excel file in this excel file i'm going to access the data and using that to create the user okay First, I'll pass the JSON first. String format this one. String str. Thing I'm going to pass here body place. Now in the response, we are going to get the response of the status, right? For that, we need to use a response that get status code. This will get the entire information, which is the ID is presented, right? Like status, that status it can, it can be able to give.
and this verification we have to do like assets we need to use send the asset dot asset equal in this asset equal we have to pass the status quo this one and next expected asset is format one and we can able to pass the string format of response value correct status okay this is the one way i'll run and i'll show you also that this one and before that we need to create a second one and now my second concept is i don't want to pass this string format of the json or else i don't want to create the json format of the data because every time we have to create a, a individual value that purpose we have to consume the entire information from the excel sheet i'm going to store the entire data into excel sheet that information i'm going to get back the response okay now for that we need to add the two things one first apache poi this is the one it will get the excel jar files and this is the one method creation purpose but it is not required but this is the enough apache poi is the one i use the latest version 4.1.2 this will get the entire excel sheet values after that we have to create one generic method in this method we need to get the excel data first what exactly this method is presented in here we need to declare the workbook workbook is nothing but the this sheet entire sheet like your notebook is there that right? that book we need to call in uh, air, uh, software ways is a workbook okay each workbook having the sheets means first page second page is the right that called as a sheet in that terms okay each sheet having the columns and rows this is a sheet one sheet 1 if you click on sheet 2 sheet 3 like this every sheet it will start as a index position is 0 okay all the sheets it is presented 0th position and we need to get the data from here after we declare the entire sheet first then we have to get for the property of your where the exactly that sheet is presented then this is our project in this project test data inside the test data we have the test data dot excel file okay for that first this system dot get property what it will happen it will get the this project location in the inside the location we are going to searching these two folders one is a sorry one folder is test data another one is the excel file okay once we get the path then we need to file input stream we need have to do once we done that file input stream and insert the path whether the our sheet is presented or not once the sheet is presented we need to read the the sheet values first enter the sheet value we are going to reading inside that we need to get the row position is zero means this is the one then we need to rotate the header values until test case id header is present until this id is verifying until that we need to rotate the for loop once it is came and both values are matching then we have to go for the inside of the next row okay. inside once we get that we have to get the all the row values because first position we find out 
then there is no issue for that then we need to go for the nest values to increment here second question onwards we need to get the all the row values what all the rows are presented that all the rows information we will need to get once we get the all the rows we need to loop that one by one whether until we pass the test case id once the test case id which is we pass the right if we are passing tc009 until that we need to loop it it will loop the entire one and it will get the test case id in case if the test case id is succeed both are equal we need to go for the inside inside what we can happen again i am going to this is the value is we verified the test case is match then we need to verify the second header which is we need to get the body of the information once we got the this question right then we have to read the this value the test case id which is matching for the json value for this is the one we need done which is the row value that is a header value once both is match then we need to get the entire json that json it will return the entire values we are showing here n number of json we can able to store and we can able to pass here i use the placeholder name and placeholder if we are using placeholders we can able to change the run time and modify that value because name and job are something else anything if it is required for the unique value to replace then we can able to pass this one once we done right this method we are going to call create user json file place this one which is the placeholder i given right this placeholder i am going to replace the name and job then that job once it is json is ready we need to get the entire information i'll show you how i'm going to access this one first i have to call the generic class dot create json here we need to pass the sheet name that is called as a sheet and test case id is 003 is 003 this is my sheet and this is a good and i told you right two ways i am going to show one is the getting the response data for that status code and verifying the status code these two things i am doing here for the both is same but third is i am going to the same code and i have to get the then condition dot status code which is the status code is passing to not one and this status code is basically directly going to validate that is called this is the one validate a response this directly it will validate uh, if you are doing directly validation of the status code remaining two steps is not required because if it is matching then it will pass if it is not matching it will not pass directly it will gives this one i'll run and i'll show you how it will pass and three method should be passed because all the places we are doing directly we are validating the uh, status codes See, three suit, three steps are run. Three is pass. There is no failure, right? Now I am going to change this one as a 
four and the status is two. Five status. Okay, I'm storing. I'm going to run again. Two should be fail because we are validating a wrong status course. One is correct status code. Now we need to go for the console. Three run, one pass, two failures. If you go top, you can able to see the two failures. See, correct status code is expected 500, but found is 201. Okay, first case and second case expected failure but it is not giving the see here expected status code is 400 but it we it founds for 201 correct that's all about the how to create the user using the rest issue thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe my video and please like it and please share to your friends colleagues Thank you.